Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. what you hear, please share. Big thanks to our sponsors, the Gregory Home Team of Keller Williams Ben Willamette and Corvallis Chamber of Commerce supporting local business. Hey, Russ, I think you might be on mute. I haven't been able to hear you since the beginning. Can you check real fast? Hey, there you go. Yes. We're on. <laughs> it's live and I am on mute. There you go. I don't even know how that happened. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, I'm so sorry. I know I, we could have made things a little bit easier if I showed up on time, uh, but I've had the, the morning from hell, so I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, no, I appreciate, you know, actually, I probably should have looked at the private message you sent me while I was doing my intro. So there you go. So everybody saw me being animated and heard nothing. So here is AJ Wilcox, who is a LinkedIn ad specialist, a friend. Super excited to have you here today, today AJ. And I also have a friend, Jason Cooper, going to jump in this morning uh, and say hi in a few minutes. So AJ, let's just start with you. And tell us all about what's going on in your world. Wonderful. Well, uh, you know, I, I specialize, like you said, in LinkedIn ads. And so I'm, I'm kind of really excited about any time LinkedIn comes out with a new feature. And we're, we're kind of in a, a lull period right now. So I'm really hoping some cool stuff uh, is, is coming out here in the near future. Um, but I, I think as for changes on the platform, uh, it's certainly getting more and more competitive and uh, which just punctuates the point of, of you know, if you're, uh, if you know that LinkedIn ads is going to be a good channel for your business, it's a good idea to get in as fast as possible now so that you can be two steps ahead of your competitor who won't be joining for, you know, until it's too late. 
Yeah, you know, I think you, with the energy that you have, I can see that you are on the forefront of everything new coming out. How long have you been doing working with LinkedIn ads? Uh, you know, I started back in 2011. That was the first time I launched a campaign. And uh, I was really sold on it by like, by 2012, I realized that there was something special here. And th so that's when I've been all in basically since then. Wow. And so what, why did you, I mean, what you wake up one morning and think, you know, I think that I want to do LinkedIn ads for my life. How did that all evolve? How did you get into that? That was actually a really funny story because I, uh, I started running them at a previous company that I worked for. And at that company, I, I realized, uh, you know, I went in as a search engine optimization guy. So my, my, uh, my concept was, Hey, I'm going to go in and, and just, you know, help us rank better on search engines and do all that. And what happened is my search engine optimization, you know, it was going to take some time. My Google ads, uh, I, I worked really hard on and, and, you know, it was just a very competitive space, but LinkedIn, the channel that I gave almost no credence to, uh, spent almost no time on, that was the one that the sales team kept coming to me and saying, AJ, we're fighting over these leads, keep it up. And so I, I was kind of, I, I really stumbled into it, which is you know, extremely fortunate uh, for me, but I just, I kept seeing all of the, the great feedback and the great lead quality. And it, it embarrassingly, it took me, uh, you know, months or years before I finally said, okay, I get it. I'm going to turn all of my guns towards this, this platform um, just because of how good it's doing. But uh, yeah, that's embarrassing that it took me so long, but that's how I got into it. Yeah. And I think you've really specialized and focused on that. So, I mean, there's not a lot of people that are so focused as you on one platform. People try to do so many things and diversify so much. And I think that it's sometimes it's better to be specialized in a particular area because you can really help people more. Yeah. And I think that, you know, there's kind of this debate in marketing between like being a, a, a jack of all trades marketer, someone who, who can figure out anything and then a, being a specialist, someone who knows one area really, really well. And in my career, I've gotten to play both roles. And I really, really think it's, it's uh, very important to be well-rounded in marketing and, you know, I, I love the fact that I've learned several different channels and gotten to specialize in many different areas along the way, because even when I'm talking to clients about LinkedIn ads, that experience helps me understand how this is actually working for their business, not just the little piece that LinkedIn ads would control. Right. Well, you know, and I think, uh, you know, it is very important to be well-rounded, like you said, but also um, I think the combination of being well-rounded, but really having a specialty is really great. And speaking of well-rounded, I'm going to bring in Jason real quickly here. There's the man all the way from Dublin, Ireland. Hey, Jason, hey, how's hey. it going? I was wondering so, what was going on. Uh, I couldn't hear you at all. When I was going, I had to go and check my sound. I was going, is it me or is it, uh, but that was good. I like that. That was a really good touch. I like that. Thanks for inviting me on there to us, go. and AJ, good to see you as well. You as well. You know, I think that maybe that is a good way to hook people in because they want to hang out and figure out what's wrong with my sound, and then they stick around in the podcast. You know, that's the fun of live, right? Whatever happens, happens, and there you go. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and it's uh, really good to be invited on, and it's really good to learn something new about LinkedIn I'm an avid learner and I keep asking lots of questions on Clubhouse about uh, LinkedIn International. So I've learned loads from there about some really smart, wonderful techniques and processes that you can do to increase value in uh, what you post. So they've taught me loads. So I'm sure you've got loads of little gems there as well. And yeah, I have, go ahead, AJ. I just absolutely love that. But the fact that Clubhouse right now is a place where you can hop in and just hear people sharing their expertise. Uh, everyone's trying to gain a following right now because it's new. And so I think that means you're probably going to show up and share your best stuff. So that's pretty awesome. So have you uh, tried the Clubhouse arena, AJ? I have. I actually, so I'm a, a diehard Android fan. <laughs> I'm Android and PC is my tech stack. And, uh, and so I, I couldn't get access to Clubhouse. And so about two weeks ago, I actually broke down and I went and bought an, uh, like a used iPad just so I could get on and see what all the fuss was about. Um, and I've 
done very little, but enough to understand that there's a ton of value there that really needs to be mm -hmm. uh, capitalized on. Well, I know that they're talking about including Android coming up here, but just a little secret that I learned, and that is all you need to do is find a friend with an old iPhone that they upgraded. You can go into a coffee shop anywhere they have Wi-Fi. You don't have to have service to actually get on Wi-Fi and yeah. actually do Clubhouse. So that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. So, um, yeah, I... I do find a lot of value in there. I don't have a whole lot of time to spend in there. We've done a couple of things like Scott and I on the experience live with Russ and Scott. We do have an after chat in clubhouse and I know that a uh, global tea break, of course, Jason, you know about all that. And AJ, have you been on the global tea break? I I've attended. I haven't been a guest on it yet. Okay. So that one, they do an after chat as well. So a lot of things, Madeline Scalar does one after her Twitter smarter chat on uh, Thursdays as well. So I've kind of tuned into those things, but there's a lot of wisdom uh, that people, you can get sucked into listening for too long. If you, yeah. you got to be really intentional about your time. So I, um, uh, the weather here today, by the way, I got to tell you guys, I'm switching to, to how it looks in our world is beautiful. And it's giving me you know, an inspired Monday, which, you know, I normally am fairly inspired anyway. How is the weather in your parts of the world? AJ, how's it looking in Salt Lake? Well, I just barely, I, I drove 10 hours yesterday to get back from a family vacation. We were in Southern California where I got sunburnt, <laughs> but so obviously weather was amazing. And, uh, and now we're here in Utah. It's a little bit chilly, but I, I run hot. So I, I really appreciate having a little bit of <laughs> Well, there you go. How about you, Jason? How's uh, it's it a little bit chilly and cloudy, uh, normal sort of Irish weather here. So it's uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit turbulent over the next few weeks. Uh, but I think May is going to be beautiful, so I hear. So, um, uh, like, I don't mind. I'm stuck indoors anyway, so it doesn't make any difference to me at the moment. So all good for me. Well, Jason, tell us a little, since you're on here with us this morning, I appreciate you jumping on. Tell us a little bit about... Uh, what's going on with you and how you've utilized LinkedIn? Um, well, I, I'm utilizing LinkedIn really fundamentally for my posts and connectability. So I'm all about uh, building long-term relationships. I'm all about helping people and finding their success in their business and sales uh, life. So I've been using LinkedIn since about 2008. So I've been a long while, really. Uh, so I keep picking up uh, div, um, interesting things about how to connect. All I want to do is give value back to people. So whether it's by uh, a post adding value, um, whether it's by uh, LinkedIn Live or something like that, or video, so or a story based on my personal experiences to add value forward to people. So lots of different golden nuggets. Uh, uh, I posted actually on Clubhouse quite recently about how to utilize emojis because I think that's a big thing about, about highlighting it, whether to overdo it or underdo it. But there's also a big thing recently, something else I posted out uh, to some experts on Clubhouse, and they were going, oh, I'm not sure about that, but it's uh, spacing the wording down so you can have half a sentence, then you go down to again and go down. But they advised me not to do that. So I was going, okay, I just heard from somewhere else that was a good idea to do that, but... Uh, Apparently, the algorithm doesn't like that. So uh, I don't know. So, AJ, tell us your your tip of the day on how to get attention and how to really connect with people through the LinkedIn ads. Well, and I'll even take a step away from ads here for a minute because the organic side of LinkedIn, as, as Russ, we've talked about before, it is so exciting right now. It is mm -hmm. the easiest network in the world to go viral on. And it's not like going viral on TikTok where all of your, your new followers are going to be 13 year old kids. Um, it, it's <laughs> like when you go viral on LinkedIn, you are in front of the most influential crowds possible. This is, you know, career uh, fuel. It's amazing. And so when you do the kinds of things that Jason's talking about, uh, when you share things that make people want to engage, they want to comment, they want to like, all of a sudden now you're, uh, LinkedIn is seeing value in your posts. And so they start showing it to people outside of your network and you go viral. It's amazing. Right. Well, I think that it, you know, it is amazing when 
you you really are consistent with things that you're doing. I think that's one thing you probably find. You know, if you're really consistent on any platform, you're going to get a lot of attention. And it, yeah. it takes time sometimes. You don't instantly not too many people at least instantly put one thing and go viral. Most people, it mm-hmm. takes time and building and building up a network. And like Jason said, being, um, you know, really connecting intentionally and really working on that. And this, this podcast is all about how amazing people connect and you two are definitely amazing people. Cause I appreciate both of you and how we've connected and how I see you connect with others and um, I think that's a big thing today is just being really consistent. Right. Right, AJ? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, consistency is kind of a cool thing because on LinkedIn, it almost doesn't matter when you post. Um, if you have people who are engaging, that post can live for a little while. Whereas mm. if I go and post on Twitter, I know my post is only going to live for about six minutes and it's kind of over. <laughs> It does have a lot shorter life on Twitter, I think. I mean, Madeline might uh, have a different view of that, but uh, <laughs> she's she's a Twitter queen. So, um, so Jason, uh, give us your thought for the day as we wrap things up here and remind us how to get in touch with you. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm all over LinkedIn, so you should be able to find me on there. Uh, Twitter, Jason A. Cooper. Instagram, Jason A. Cooper. Clubhouse Jason A. Cooper. So, uh, and my website, of course, which is jasoncooper.io, or email me, um, whichever, whichever forms you, you, I'm there anyway. You have to be able to get hold of me. So, if you want to find out more about what I do and how I can add impact to the bottom line by uh, sales training and sales coaching, but really making an impact on those relationships that last. And this is what this is all about. Perfect. Perfect. AJ, thought of the day and how people get in touch with you. Great. Well, getting in touch with me is the same way for Jason. Just reach out on LinkedIn, but make sure that you customize that connection request and let me yeah. know that you heard me on Russ's Great. show. That way I'll, I'll know because there's those, those uh, pile up considerably. And uh, I, I don't know, thought of the day, just go and provide value in everything you do. And uh, if your mindset is more on how do I help others, how do I provide value and less on how do I extract value or make a buck. Um, people can, uh, pe- a, a friend of mine who's in sales uh, calls it sales breath. People can smell sales breath like, yeah, I like can. desperate for, a, for the next sale, but we all love to be around people who, who just provide value. So be that person. Absolutely. Oh I totally agree. And how you can serve people better because it's all about adding value, but also serving them in an authentic, integral way that you're listening and understanding what they want as opposed to what you think you want, they want. Yeah. Sorry, Russ. You were just going to wrap up there, wasn't you? <laughs> no, that's why I love you guys. I mean, you know, great minds think alike. We are on the same wavelength. You know, I was when I was so animated and had no volume, I was talking about my most recent workshop, Purpose to Profit, and it's all about gaining purpose in your life. And my purpose is to encourage inspire and add value to others and help them lead a significant life. You know, you can live a wonderfully significant life helping and adding value to other people when you intentionally choose to do that. And um, I've heard of this book one time called Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose. And it really talks about choosing a good life. And I think, you know, people should look into that anyway. um, But I appreciate you two so much today being on. Um, and, uh, I thank you again, have a wonderful, wonderful day. You guys hang tight. I'm going to send you out as we wrap up. Um, and, uh, but thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks everybody. I appreciate you all, uh, tuning in today to hear Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Now that you can actually hear me, uh, I appreciate you so much, each one of you. I love this live platform, even when we make mistakes occasionally. You know what? Life keeps going. We all make mistakes, but we rebound. We keep moving forward. We keep making a positive difference. And again, I appreciate uh, AJ, our featured guest today, and Jason Cooper jumping on. Um, and just really adding value to me. I know they have added value to you. We'll make sure and get the contact information in the show notes today. And just want to tell you all how much we appreciate each one of you. And until we see you again, have a great day and a great life. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. 
Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.